You probably weren't expecting to see me again. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please, just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. The reason I was down there, and why I had the Elder Scroll. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you've figured out this part already. But my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. He just became absorbed, obsessed. It was kind of sick, actually. The prophecy said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. For someone who fancied himself as vampire royalty, that's pretty seductive. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with the scroll. I'm sorry, I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. Was I wrong? Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. Alright, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me. Is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Why? Because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out? Do you actually believe any of that? Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But of course, neither of us can read it. Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away in Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go to for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Here we are. Yes. The welcome I received felt really... cold, even by vampire standards. My father... After all these years, that's the first thing he asks me. 
I trust you have the scroll. Yes, I have the scroll, gods. Thanks. Sorry, I... I have a whole host of emotions I don't know how to deal with. My family... It probably wasn't what you'd call normal. <sighs> anyway, we've got something to do. I'm glad you're here with me. Hmm. Always a pleasure to watch when a man like you walks by. Hello? Need something? Lead the way. Assumptions. That's how people wind up dead. Right. 